all those underdevelopment country having their own strategy and plan for future of their country. All of them want to be bigger, develop, and more role in the international society, and also better relation and PR with other uh, nation and continent. For that, if you go with Qatar, as example, Doha game and now the World Cup, and they are bidding for the Olympic game, how we can make the sport part of their program and a, a strategy to reach whatever they are looking for their country and for the benefit of their economy and PR. Excellency, you mentioned earlier that these Asian Winter Games have been elevated to new levels. Explain. After 1992 Barcelona game and the professionalism start in this sports, uh, also we have to change our mechanism to reach this level. For that, since that time, Two decades now, we are working very hard to bring our level to a very high standard, to reach the standard of the international organization and event. And I think you can compete between Beijing Olympic Games and Guangzhou Asian Games. Uh, uh, to be fair, I cannot say who's better than the other. Facilities, opening ceremony, all those details. Now, I think after uh, we have some a uh, unique game in co our continent like beach game in Oman and you can find the different culture and how Oman have different opening ceremony than their culture. This is mean we are having a better education about sport and movement and the benefit of this kind of events. Now in Kazakhstan and new regime, it's in, in Central Asia, five in new country, 20 years old only, coming after the Soviet uh, Union and they start to build themselves and you have the opening ceremony. I cannot find a lot of difference between Vancouver and Asetana opening ceremony. We are also on the same level of the international movement. What I mean, the game in this continent start to be in the same level of the game. And this is what you can see. What we know by the mechanism, the procedures, the solidarity, the support, the way we are dealing during our system. This is, I think, our target. This was the dream of the founder of sport in our continent. And we are a part of five rings, and this is very important. We are not doing this because we are unique. We think we are doing this because we are united with the other rings, and everybody should work together to raise the sport level. And we are, we are achieving a lot of our goals and targets. Now this is the first time that the Asian Winter Games are being hosted in two separate cities, Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan, and Almaty, the financial capital. How much of a challenge was that? For us, this is a new experience. Not only for OCA or the Olympic Council of Asia, but also for any international federation. You will find any multi-sport game. You cannot host it in, in two cities. And the idea, you have to have a very close ring together. This is one of the sport yani, ideals. But it was a new experience. For me, uh, I think it was a very successful. All the indoor sport was in Asitana. All the mounting events is in Almaty. I am trying to help this country, to help two society, two generation in one game. For them, it's more difficult because they have to, to work double, double preparation, double planning, double work, but for us, we have our game, our goal, we are achieving them through this game, but also we are dividing all those facilities which will help to develop a sport and will help to educate new generation how good is a sport. For that, I think this will be very nice for the Kazakh people to, 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 to divide their facility and to invest it in the right uh, way for their society and for generation and for their sport movement. Now what are the odds of Kazakhstan being awarded the 2022 or 2026 Winter Olympics? If Korea get 2018, it will be 50-50. If Korea don't get 2018, it will be 100%.